Hello first graders, we're back with more math today. Remember in math we have been learning how to organize data and display it using different types of graphs. So we learned tally charts and this week we've been working on making picture graphs. Remember that a question that you ask a group of people is called a survey and that all the information you get from that survey is called the data. Today we're going to work on analyzing data again using those fun picture graphs. So in your math book today we're starting on page 527. It has this picture graph of people's favorite vegetables. Hit pause until you're all ready. 527. So they've already filled in this picture graph. We're going to write the totals on the side and then the total number of people who took the survey. So how many people chose carrots as their favorite vegetable? One, two, three, four. How many people chose peas as their favorite vegetable? Looks like only one. And how many people chose corn? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I agree, corn's my favorite too. Now how many people all together took this survey? You could count up the pictures in the picture graph, or you can add these numbers. I'm going to start with 8 and count on 4 more. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, plus 1 more is 13. So 13 people took that survey. Let's turn it over to the back of that page. We're going to just work here. So it looks like we have a picture graph that shows people's favorite drinks, chocolate milk, orange juice, and grape juice. We're going to use this picture graph to help us answer these questions. So number one says, how many people were surveyed in all? We just practiced that on the other page. Let's count up how many people were surveyed all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen people were surveyed in all here. The next question says, what drink got the same number of votes as grape juice? So let's take a look at grape juice. Looks like they have three votes. Which other drink got that same number of votes? Orange juice, of course. Orange juice got the same number of votes as grape juice. And the last question says, do more people like chocolate milk or orange juice? Which one got more votes, chocolate milk or orange juice? Chocolate milk got way more votes, didn't it? I don't know, I kind of like orange juice. Very good. I'm gonna ask some bonus questions to do with this graph. How many people like orange juice and grape juice together? Six people like orange juice and grape juice together. How many more people like chocolate milk than like orange juice? So compare the numbers of chocolate milk votes and orange juice votes or you could count these blank spots. Five more people like chocolate milk than like orange juice. How many more people like chocolate milk than grape juice? That's easy since they are both the same. Five more people like chocolate milk than like grape juice too. Now you're gonna work on this page on your own. I'm gonna read out the questions, but I'm not gonna give you the answers. So you're gonna use this uh, picture graph to help answer these questions. Looks like they were voting on their favorite fruit, strawberries, oranges, and apples. Number four says, how many people chose strawberries? Remember, you can always hit pause if you need more time. 
Number five says, did more people choose oranges or apples? Number six says, did fewer people choose apples or strawberries? Number fewer means less. Did fewer people choose apples or strawberries? Number seven says, how many more people chose strawberries than oranges? Number eight says, how many fewer people chose apples than oranges? And number nine says, how many people were surveyed? I'm gonna work on the back as well. Number 10 says, DeMarcus is counting sports equipment. He counts 14 pieces of equipment in all. So how many jump ropes does he count? So if you add bikes, jump ropes, and soccer balls, it should all be 14, but the jump ropes are missing. If there are 14 altogether, how many would be jump ropes? And number 11 says, Tara asks a question about the picture graph. The answer is the swings. What could the question be? What might Tara have asked that would the answer would be swings? Terrific job reading those picture graphs today, first graders. I hope it's getting a little bit easier for you the more we practice. See you tomorrow for more math. Bye.